Hello, and welcome to another video by Panic Props. Today we're going to be working on spider nests. These are going to incorporate a variety of different size balls, which I have two for example here. It uh, doesn't matter what color, what size, it's up to you. Um, it's also going to incorporate some uh, plastic bags from your local grocery store or convenience store. Um, I am recommending the white for this project, being that the webs are white. The bag should be white, they'll blend in best. Um, also a variety of different size spiders you could go with. Uh, these ones do have glitter on them, so I will be incorporating spray paint into this project as well. Um, it will be used for the balls and for making the spiders all more of a flat color. I also have the colored spiders, so I'm going to have to spray those as well. Now I've got some really large spiders, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these yet or not. And of course, your basic bags of spider webbing. So, um, the other thing you will need is a heat gun. Always be careful with the heat. I recommend using um, some safety gloves or something, something thicker that'll keep the heat from burning you. And always be careful of your surface that you're using it on. But um, we will be using the heat gun. Uh, the one I'm using is a, a multi-temperature one. You don't have to actually have one with a dial to set the temperature but um, having the option of a lower heat um, so that you're not affecting any of the, these foam balls, such as melting them or dealing with these ones with the air in them and actually causing them a pop. So uh, we will get to that. The first step we're going to do is, well, I'm gonna have to unwrap this one. And I have this one here that I'm going to be spray painting black. The reason for that is these are going to be the core of our spider nests. And I want the cores to look like they are just covered, full, filled to the to the maximum with as many spiders as your imagination could come up with. So that's our first step. We're going to spray paint these, make them black. And uh, while I have the spray paint out, I might as well pull these guys out, spray all these black, and uh, get these glittery ones to not be glittery. So uh, I'll be getting to that, and I will see you in a moment. Okay, we are now back after using some spray paint. I do have this big bundle of uh, spiders here painted black. The backs are still the green and orange if you end up with colored spiders that you need to paint. Doesn't matter if you leave uh, some color on them because, uh, you know, black widows and stuff, they got the red on them, other poisonous spiders, they're going to have multiple colors. Um, just kind of adds a little bit to the effect. And they're all just going to be against a black webbing anyway, so you're just looking for the contrast color. As you can tell, the black against white is a really good contrast. So I'm going to take pairs of scissors and uh, cut these little rings off the back. These were all Halloween rings that I happened to come across for a discount. So um, didn't find any straight black spiders. And uh, so and then sometimes uh, these will come with some spiders in them, but you're going to need a lot more than what you get in these, I think. You need to get four or five in those, so. Um, I did get these ones painted. They're not as glittery anymore, so that works. And as far as the balls, here's a black ball. I did decide to do a little bit of white on the top to give it more of a, almost like a concave feeling, like the spiders are all at the bottom of it. Uh, if you did have a spider nest or whatever, it's not gonna be a big ball of spiders. They're gonna, they're gonna be like hanging off of each other and uh, sort of in a bundle at the bottom, so. Did the white on the top, just kind of camouflage. Did the same with the uh, the larger ball right here. It's just white on top, so um, that'll work for that. So our next step with that is to grab some of your white grocery bags or whatever you have. Um, preferably the white though, because it's going to work with the webbing. It's going to uh, blend in with the web. So you want to take your ball, put it at the bottom of it, and if you do the white, make sure the white is at the top. So the, the black is at the bottom. And you can see, you can tell the contrast a little bit in there. And then we're just gonna, going to uh, rotate it. Doesn't matter if there's any writing on it or anything. That's all gonna be hidden. And then you'll have it um, wrapped up like this. And then you'll have the hook at the top from the handles. You wanna get them both together. And then um, you'll be able to hang it. So once it's all wrapped and it's all um, heated up with the 
the heat gun, it will be a ball at the base with a strand of white, and then you're going to have the hooks at the top for hanging it um, in your in your hunt site or wherever you want in the house. Hang it from your chandelier. Um, same thing with the big ball. It'll be a little shorter, um, a little shorter inside the bag because the ball is larger. It's going to take up more of the bag room. Uh, the, the rubber ball actually is tacky too, so it'll be a little bit, uh, a little bit more troublesome to get in, but. Get it in there as best as you can, and uh, once you get it in, you'll have the handles at the top again. And since it's such a short, short uh, ball thing here, we are going to uh, take another bag, and we're just going to tie it into these handles here, and I'll actually extend it further up for the length to be the same as the smaller one, and. Uh, then we'll just wrap that, heat shrink that too. It'll be the same thing. It'll just be a larger nest of spiders. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and start attaching our, our spider web around it. And so I'll get these heated up and we'll get back to the video. Okay, we're back now. We do have both of these um, wrapped up in the plastic, heat shrunk with the heat gun. I uh, got the plastic down. So you can see the black through each of these so that'll look like your uh, your nest of spiders big ball of spiders all clustered together uh, next step is we're going to start attaching some of the black spiders to this and from that point then we're going to add webbing to these so reason why we're going to attach the spiders first is that we want different layers of spiders on these that way you can see some spiders inside the inside of the webbing other than other ones um, a little bit further out of the webbing and then one's on the outside of the webbing so you can see there's depth to this it's going to give it more of a feel of a, a spider ball a spider nest so um that's pretty much the next step we're going to take those rings get some glue and start gluing them on all over the place uh, mostly cover um where the black is but also add some up on the top here and on the top of the white to give a little contrast to that white too so you're going to know there's just a ton of spiders inside these when they're hanging from the ceiling. You're not going to want to go near them. And uh, I'll show you that next step once we get some spiders on here. Okay, here we are. We're about midway through this project. I uh, just wanted to show you real quick. Here we go. We got the ball in here. I did add some more spray paint to give it more of a dark black again. So um, it'll show through the web a little better. I do have a lot of spiders attached down there. I do have a big one on top here. Um, I used the rings actually for going around this strand here to hold them in place and I glued them there. So that worked out really well for that. So um, the big one, same thing, covered with more spiders than this one. This one's just easier to handle right now. And uh, our next step is to get some webbing around it. So I'm going to take the, the spider webbing, take it out of the package, stretch it out some. I'm going to start at the bottom here and then just stretch it around the ball and then bring it up here um, in a smaller grouping again. And then I'm going to add more spiders on top of that again. So just going to be layer upon layer of spiders. Um, we don't want to go too thick with the spider webbing, but just enough to give it some depth, some more spider layers, and to allow the black to still show through. So you know, spider legs sticking through the webbing and stuff. It's going to, it'll have a lot more more depth, more three-dimensional feel, and then uh, once we're done with that, we're going to be able to hang these up. I'm thinking uh, just right now, I'm going to throw them in the closet. Be a nice little place for some spider nests to be hanging. Um, just other options before we get too far into this project. Uh, you could actually get more creative with this and go with um, like a mannequin head, uh, mannequin arms and legs, things you know, things of that nature. Um, I am thinking about instead of doing uh, body bags with um, the mannequins that I make or the uh, the dummies that I make, I'm planning on making a full size spider nest wrapped around a body. So um, I do like the idea of having people walk through a haunt, walking through body bags. They absolutely, absolutely do not like that. So I think if I have a spider area, I can get some arachnophobia going. And uh, if you if you can tell there's a body inside those those uh, webs covered with spiders, I think that'll uh, get in some people's heads too, give them a little creepy crawly feeling, and uh, 
yeah so from there um we'll get back to this project but yeah just giving you some other options so you don't have to go with the ball um if your haunt area is warm you could just go with balloons instead of uh, spending the money on these balls but my haunt areas can end up colder um could get snow too so i go with the balls it keeps the the air in there uh the balloons tend to deflate with the cold air so just a little hint there and i'll see you in a, bit, a little bit and there you have it our completed spider nests complete with their own dropping spider uh, dropping spider shot off but uh yeah i recommend if you have an area covered with these put some dropping spiders in there they'll catch your people off guard and uh Put a little scare into them. Then they'll be wondering what else is going to be coming off of these eggs after them. So, as you can see, we got spiders all over the place on this thing. And same goes for this little one here. It's just completely covered in spiders and all the way up. So, I do have them hanging by these aluminum rod pieces here just for a uh, show for now. but. They do work. They are used for uh, tie. They're actually tie wires for um, kennels, dog kennels. So aluminum. Um, you get it, uh, quite a few in a pack, and uh, they work really well for for hanging these. Otherwise, uh, clothes hangers, or even just a rod through the loops at the top here. Again, these are like shopping bag loops, so you do still have the handles available. So, uh, there you go, your spider nests. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, go ahead and give our video a like, share it, and uh, subscribe. We'll get more content out there for you. All new, fresh stuff.